Hey guys, so in today's video, we are going to talk about Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 journals. You might have heard about them. Somebody comes and says that, okay, I have published my paper in a Q1 journal. So what does it actually means? We will understand that. So before going on to the part of what is Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 journals, you need to understand about one more term named as impact factor. So let's first understand that. Okay, so let's first understand what is impact factor. Impact factor is the measure of number of times an average paper in a journal was cited during a year. Okay, so Clarivet Analytics is someone who releases the journal impact factors as a part of their journal citation reports. Only the journals listed in SCIE Science Citation Impacted and SSCI Social Sciences Citation Index, they only receive an impact factor. So this is the so this is the formula that they use to calculate the impact factor. So if if we need to calculate the impact factor of a, of any journal for 2023, we need to know how many how many papers were published in the last two years, like for 2021 and for 2022. We will add both of them and we will also calculate the number of citations that these papers have got in the last two years for like 2021 and 2022. For example, a journal in 2021 has, pu has published 1000 articles and also in 2022 it has, pu it has published 1000 articles and in 2021 these 1000 articles received 568 citations and in 2022 these 1000 articles received 674 citations so basic impact factor will be this one plus this one upon this one plus this one so this is how it will be done and the final impact factor will be 0.621 so this is how they calculate the impact factor of a journal so now since you have an idea about what is impact factor so just understand this thompson reuters on the basis of impact factors of the journals they publish a yearly report named as journal citation report which has the impact factor of these journals on the basis of their subjects for example if uh, like subject for example agriculture the maximum impact factor of any jur journal in the field of agriculture is 10 right so the journals having top 25 percent impact factor means from 10 to 7.5 will be given a q1 ranking Similarly, the journals having the ranking from top 50% to top 25% means from 5 to 7.5 will be given a Q2 ranking. The journals having from top 75% to top 50% means from having the impact factor of 2.5 to 5 will be given a Q3 ranking. Now at the last the journals having the bottom 25% will means having the impact factor from 0 0.5 from 0 to 2.5 will be given the Q4 rank. So this is how they rank the journals in Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. The next difference amongst these journals is their time to publish. The Q1 journal, since it has the highest impact factor, it will have the most time to, uh, to publish an article, whereas a Q4 journal we will have the least time to publish an article. A simple example of this or a rough idea of this is what a Q1 impact factor journal can take around 9 months to 2 years to publish a paper. 
a q2 scopus index journal can take 7 to 8 months a q3 from 6 to 8 months and similarly the q4 can take around 2 months to 6 months to publish a paper now in the next part of this video we will see a quick demo on how you can find this q1 q2 q3 scopus index journals on the scopus web website so let's have this demo okay so in the next part of this video i'll show you how you can find if any journal belongs to q1 q2 q3 and q4 so let's come on the screen so uh, so what so what you have to do you have to type scopus sources so this first one will come up here if you have a look uh, we have this option of these many options you have to select the subject area and then from here you have to select the area in which and like whichever is your research area like if I take this structural biology okay fine now all these journals that belong to the subject uh, of this structural biology is visible here if you see at the side we have this option of first quartile second quartile third quartile and fourth quartile this is what your q1 q2 q3 and q4 so if I just select this second quartile and quick and click here apply so all the journals which belong to q2 will be visible here so this is your first way the second thing what i will tell you is that if you have the name of a journal and you want to check that if that journal is q1 q2 q3 or q4 then how you will do that so i will take the name of uh, any example journal journal uh, like if i have this uh, journal of indian chemical society okay so what you basically need to do that you need to type schemago at the last of this so this will get you this scheme schemago site okay so when you come on this website it will give you the subject areas of this journal the publisher the issn number and similarly if you just go at the last it will tell you which quarrel tile it belongs to this belongs to the q4 right similarly if i have some other journal sample uh, so this so this is how you will check similarly if i have some other journal journal like if i have this journal by the name of american journal of agricultural economics okay so i'll just type schemago at the last so this schemago will come up Okay, so it will give me the subject area the publisher and if i'll just scroll down this will show me which one so this one belongs to the q1 quarrel tile so this is how you will search which journal belongs to what so i hope you would have understood the difference between q1 q2 q3 and q4 journals if you have understood give this video a like tell me if you have any doubt i will clar clarify them and if you have seen this video till here do comment i have watched till the end till the next week take care